what's up everybody today we're gonna have a ton of fun I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time which is to do a cosplay photo shoot it's gonna be a ton of fun we've got a great outfit today um, you know what I don't really think this is working man you're gonna have to yeah sorry uh, I know I know Anyway, so, so my name is Miguel Quiles, and in today's video, we're going to do a cosplay photo shoot inspired by photographs from Marco Grob. So let's talk about the inspiration for today's photo shoot. So I have been in love with the work of a photographer. His name is Marco Grob. You've probably seen his work and you might not even realize it. If you have Netflix or you have Amazon, if you've ever seen the posters for the movie Black Panther, Avengers, um, I mean, I'm, there's a whole list and I'll kind of show you some images here on the screen of just various projects that he's worked on. And he does tremendous work. His lighting is like next level in my book. And I've always kind of wanted to go out and try to kind of replicate some of the lighting from those uh, from those images that he's created. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take the lighting from the poster for Black Panther from Marvel, and we're gonna use it to photograph our model who is not going to be dressed as Black Panther, but uh, he's gonna be an equally cool superhero. So uh, without further ado, let me bring in the model and he could kind of tell you about himself. So come on in. What's up guys? Um, Miguel, thanks for the intro. Um, for you guys that don't know me, my name is Trevor Bell. You can follow me on Instagram, at Trevor Bell. Um, I'm a model and actor based in New York City. I've been doing this for about a little over a year now. Um, a little bit of inspiration behind the suit and why I started getting into cosplay. I started off originally on Instagram as a fitness model, you know, doing a lot of fitness work, and then I thought up to myself, like, how can I differentiate myself amongst all the other guys that are doing, taking their shirts off, doing the exact same thing I'm doing, right? So. I uh, did some research. Uh, I really like superhero concepts and I love Spider-Man, so I decided, why not? Let me invest in a, a movie replica costume. So that's what you see me in today. This costume was purchased from RPC Studio and you can find them at, at the RPC Studio online as well. Amazing costumes, um, the detail and the fitting on them, amazing. Um, and yeah, and it allowed me to have the opportunity to work with Miguel today. So I'm super excited to create some really, really dope work. Let's break down the lighting for this photo, or at least what I think that the lighting is gonna be like. As I look at the photograph, I first thing that I notice is that he's got some really strong edge lights on the side of the face, on the top of the shoulders, uh, even on the hands, but I'm not gonna do the exact same poses with my model, so I'm not so worried about that part of it. Really just looking at those side lights, and I'm thinking that it's probably a strip box, potentially a gridded strip box, because of the fact that the edge lights are so defined on the side of the face. So I'm gonna try to do edge lights with a strip bank. Uh, on the top of the head, it looks like, for some of these shots, you can't really see it, but I am gonna try to add a little bit of a hair light above to add a little bit of separation from the black background that I'm using. And then for the main light, I wanna try to go for something like a little harder. So I'm gonna go for a beauty dish with a grid. And I think that if I, kind of put all of this together that uh, I'll get part of the way there with the lighting. Hopefully that will work out. Let's talk about the background really quickly. Now you can use a black seamless paper for your background and that's really what you should be using. Unfortunately, I left my black seamless paper at home. So what I'm going to do is actually use a black V flat. These are four by eight V flats. And I'm gonna use them as the background for this photograph and it actually if everything works well, it should work perfectly fine. As far as the camera and the lens that I'm using, I'm shooting this on the Sony a7R 3 42 megapixels, lots of detail, and I'm pairing that with an 85 millimeter f1.4 lens. Now, some of these shots are gonna be really close up. There'll be head shots, maybe some half uh, body shots, and even some three quarter length shots. And so hopefully we'll be able to kind of uh, have some versatility by just using this single lens and I can let the model kind of flow and work from pose to pose. So that's our setup. All right, everybody. So let's uh, kind of talk through what we're doing right now. We have our model dressed up in his awesome Spider-Man outfit. He is ready to rumble. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna figure out what our settings are for, uh, for the ambient light that's in the room. And what we wanna do is create 
system. Dial in the settings basically that will get rid of this ambient light, which we're really just using so you guys can see what's happening. It's just video lighting. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off first by guessing at my settings. Now I could use a light meter here and I am going to uh, use a light meter for future photo shoots and kind of talk about that. But for now, I wanna show you if you don't have one, this is how you go about doing it. Usually I'm somewhere between F8 and F11. I'm gonna guess right now and just go to F9. ISO 100, one, one sixtieth of a second for my shutter. And uh, none of the lights are gonna fire off. We're gonna see if we get a image here that hopefully is just a black image here, which is perfect. Look at this, with the selfie game on point. This is great. <laughs> So looking at the computer here, I could see that the um, none of the ambient light is actually affecting this shot, which means my settings are great. So F9, 1 over 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build up our lighting here. So what I want to do is get first the backlights dialed in, then we're going to get our main light dialed in, and then the hair light that's up above in no particular order. Uh, so what I did was I have two 1 by 6 strip banks behind the model and I have grids on them. And part of the reason for that is I wanted to just give him a little bit of outline on the edges of his suit. I don't want it to uh, light the front of his face and without the grids that might happen. So let me show you what this looks like with just the edge lights. Okay, I'm gonna back up and get a little bit more of the body here. Okay, so you guys can see here on the screen, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with just the edge lights. And you can see that they look really good. You have a really nice defined edge between the black background and his black suit, which is exactly what we want. Now what I'm gonna do is using the remote, I'm gonna turn on my hair light. There we go. Hair light is on. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the backlights here. So we're just gonna fire off the hair light. Very cool. So now we could see what the hair light is doing by itself and it's really just adding just a little bit of light to the top of his head. He already has the edge lights from the strip banks behind. This is really just for the top of his head and it is working perfect. We're gonna turn off that light, using our remote here, we're gonna turn on our main light. For the main light, I have a uh, beauty dish with a grid. This has a white interior on the inside of the beauty dish. And the reason why I chose this is I wanted to have a little bit of a harder light, being that I wanna capture the texture of his outfit, but the grid is basically gonna control it so that it's not spilling everywhere. I just want really the front of the face to be lit. Um, the ratio of these lights, basically those edge lights are a lot brighter than this main light. So our main light is basically just giving a little tiny bit of light to the uh, Spider-Man logo, a little bit to the front of the face. Again, it's gonna be way underexposed compared to the backlight. But now if everything works out great, I'll turn on all four of these lights and we should be in business. So let's try this out. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. You don't have to look too awesome just yet. Oh, snap. And of course he comes right out of the gates looking awesome. All right, so let's take a look at our shot here. Okay, so that's what our uh, entire setup is looking like right now. Um, some of these shots I may decide to bring the main light up just a little bit, but to be honest with you, that for me looks perfect. Like there's enough detail in the front of the mask, but you still have the really nice edge lights. So now that we have this whole thing set up, let's get to shooting, let's get our shots.
Oh man, that was a ton of fun. I've been wanting to do a cosplay shoot for so long. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this uh, behind the scenes look at this photo shoot. If you guys have any questions about anything that I did on this video, I would love to hear it. Please leave it in the comment section below. If you have any complaints, click on the next video and leave the comments on that video. No, I'm just playing. You can say whatever it is that you want. Leave your feedback in the comments. I love to uh, read those. And while you're here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos coming out all the time. And also do me a huge favor. Make sure that you follow myself, uh, Trevor, Chewy, who's uh, behind the camera shooting this video right now. Follow us all on Instagram. Our stuff will be in the description for this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and hopefully you guys enjoyed the shots and enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Like, yes, that just happened.